Hello friends, what's up? Um, today's video is gonna be really interesting. I haven't filmed in a while just because I've been working at my new job from nine to five. And um, when I got the allergic reaction to the vaccine, it kind of stepped me back a little from filming. So I'm back and with a new video. And I'm kind of excited for this one because I've been putting it off for a while. Um, I need to go to my old office at the University of South Florida. I'm wearing the shirt today and just clean out my office. They haven't emailed me and asked me to clean out my office or to give back the key, but I know I need to do that soon. And I'm also moving out um, out of my apartment around end of July. So I need to get all this stuff out of my office. There's um, a couple things that are really important that I really want to make sure I take home with me, um, such as like a couple um, awards that I had it framed and I put it in my office. I think I have a couple more books in there. And yeah, I just want to make sure that all of that stuff comes home with me. And then I am going to, not today, but soon, I'm going to start packing my things in my apartment and then start taking it little by little um, to my parents' house because that's where I'm moving back. And yeah, um, I'm excited. And today I'm also getting the second dose of the vaccine. So I'm not really nervous about today. I'm more nervous about the next couple days, like Monday, because today is Saturday. I'm more nervous about Monday and the allergic reaction that, you know, might come from the vaccine. So that's where I'm at. And yeah, I'm so excited. Like I'm about to show you USF and the little office that I had and I shared that office with my classmate Becky who Becky's no longer here she's now in Colorado and I'm so happy for her she looks like she's really happy up there but I do miss her and I miss going to the office and seeing her and seeing other other classmates of mine but um but yeah I, I'm about to head that way right now so okay I just left my car and I am now walking towards the building. I have to wear a mask um, because I'm not fully vaccinated and they ask you to wear a mask. And yeah, I'll show you the building right now. Okay, I'm in my office and it is so creepy here. Like the lights are off and nobody's here, but um, and we had that thing there forever. Like Becky and I never used it. So I'm gonna quickly show here. This is um, basically my desk area and a couple things that I had, my awards, and then this bookshelf. I took a lot of the books. Now I have them at home, but I need to take those with me. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that because those are books that I printed out. That beanbag chair, I bought it last year um, because I was driving an hour back and forth and I needed to lay down and, and take a nap in my office. Um, and this is uh, my old office mate stuff and she's now in Colorado so I don't know, you know, what I'm going to do with that stuff. So... And then we just had this like random pieces of furniture here. Um, so yeah. All of this stuff was in this drawer. Um, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm going to keep, what's going to stay with me and all of that. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, 
so a couple things that I'm looking at um, that I feel that I can't throw away um, are students' papers or exams that I still have, like, I still held on to it. Um, I think some of these I held on to it because it was during the time of the pandemic and I wasn't allowed back in my office. Um, they obviously got the grades because I did grade them and correct them, but I don't feel comfortable throwing these away in the office area where anybody can just grab it and see a student's name with their grade on it. So these are going to come home with me and I will most likely throw them away at home. And um, there's also, um, yeah, like even certain tests. Yeah, these are midterms exams um, with a couple students' names and stuff that I'm not going to throw away here. Uh, I also found like articles from when I took public history, and I think I'm going to take that home with me because I have a little like, I don't know the best way to explain it, but basically like different folders in this little bin, and I have everything organized from all the courses that I took and I can put the public history stuff in its own, you know, folder. So I'm gonna do that. Um, but this, I need to make sure that I don't throw any of this away here. Okay, and I also have this great little thing that I was looking for and I needed it for work um, when I basically take my notes for the interviews with the students and I needed this. And I love it because it has the notepad on it and I can write, but also I have notes from this class that I was TA for and I got to make sure that all of that goes with me because I don't know if there's like students assignments and I think there is students yeah there is students assignments in here so that needs to go with me as well and then I found this I guess it's mine graduate research graduate student research symposium at the University of South Florida and it's just basically a little a little notebook so that's coming with me and this little notebook too me stickies more stickies all of that is coming with me yeah. so that's where i'm at right now just cleaning all of this taking all this with me um oh i can't believe i have this here this is my undergrad thesis i i kept it here yeah and it has um the the scoring rubrics when i presented it and i won first place so yeah i forgot i had this here this is the official copy of it and yeah i think i brought it here because i needed in a way like some like inspiration um because this was huge for me when i did my undergrad thesis at usf sarasota and you know I, I needed a bit of inspiration here doing my master's because the first semester was very difficult for me um but i made it through so and now i have a master thesis and i don't have the hard copy of the master thesis um i i wonder if if they're gonna give it to me um, oh my god i have so much papers okay all that needs to go with me and this is gonna go with me too oh my god okay so then i also have um this where um it was great for me to remember what i was doing each day but also like for my office mate to know like if i was in class or if i was um in the class that i was TAing for but then outside of my door i would leave these stickies so this one says in a meeting with a student so like no like people knew not to knock on my door or to be quiet outside because this office would get so loud. Um, then I have this one, it says, knock if you need me and it has my name on it. And then I had one, I said, I will be here at five on Tuesday with my name. Then I have one that says, student is taking a midterm because people would be so loud. I needed people to be quiet during a student taking a midterm in my office. Um, I'd have this one. I didn't put this one out as much as I should have. It says, please lower the noise level. Um, that one needed to be out there a lot. Um, but I think I only used this when, um, when, like my first semester because it says, 
office hours and Age of Alexander, Alexander the Great. That was the class that I was TAing. It was my first one. And then my second semester, I did uh, gender and sexuality. And towards the end, that's when the pandemic hit and I wasn't in my office anymore. And then fall of 2020, I wasn't in my office either. Um, basically, I TA'd for immigration history and that was all online. There was no, you know, video lecture. It was all just strictly online. And then I TA'd for that class again in spring of 2021. So yeah, that's where I'm at. And I'm looking at this. I got to take all of this down too. This is more stuff. Um, that name tag uh, they gave it to me when I did a panel here at USF for international students. That name tag is the one that they gave me when I presented my undergrad thesis. And then <laughs> this note right here, uh, it says, you shouldn't leave your door open, find what is missing. One day, I guess I walked out of my office, I left the door open and um, somebody left that note on my desk. But um, what was funny, was I walked in as he was writing this note, it was my classmate Reese. And I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, wow, I, I didn't think you would be back so fast. Um, but he was, try he was trying to play a joke on me, um, but it kind of failed. So it was really funny. And then I had these little inspirational stuff. And then this, I have this really important email from Dr. Olivius who wrote the book Perchance to Dream, a legal and political history of the Dream Act in DACA and um, I got in contact him, with him through another professor and he wrote some of the, you know, the nicest things to me. So um, I kept that up there. And then I have these awards here. Um, I'll start with these. Um, this one is from State College of Florida, the Image Award I won back in 2016. I think this was my very first award that um, I got at a college and university. So this one's very, very important to me. Then this one is my uh, USF award for um, outstanding student in 2019. And I think this one was um, because I was the outstanding, outstanding student in the history department. And I think if I remember correctly, 12 of us graduated. So this award, sorry, this award is connected to that one right there. Um, and it meant a lot to me because 12 of us graduated that year and I was awarded the Outstanding Student in History. So that one is very special to me. And this award here is when I presented my undergrad thesis and I won first place, so I got the Outstanding Presentation Award. And then we have this one, which is kind of in connection to this the plaque. So I got the plaque the day of, and then later they sent me this one, which was the first place oral presentation in social sciences. Um, because my undergrad thesis was not so much history, it was geared more towards the social sciences. So yeah, those are coming home with me. So now I'm trying to figure out what's on the bookshelf and what I'm taking and what's staying with me. Um, so I'm about to do that. That coffee pot has a broken sign on it and it has been there since I came here. So that's staying up there. I am not taking that with me. Um, but all of this, these are books that I basically printed because I couldn't afford to buy the physical book itself. So I feel like they should come with me because I don't want to waste paper. Uh, yeah, those are probably gonna come with me. And then I have this one. Oh my God, I have so much. Oh my God. Oh, these are like, that's not really a book. This is more of a articles. So that's gonna come home with me. What is this, articles or a book? No, this is a book and it was a really good book. So that's coming with me. Uh, this is not mine. Force and Freedom, Interpretation of History. No, that's not coming home with me. Um, 
this little sign is coming home with me. I bought it. It says, work hard, be kind, and stay humble. So that's coming home with me. my roommate gave it to me um i think when she went to germany yeah and um uh, back then she wasn't my roommate <laughs> so she was just my classmate and we were friends um but she she brought me back these so i put those on my shelf so those are coming with me um and then i have these books and this one was when I went to State College of Florida. It was a great textbook. And I loaned it to my ex-boyfriend, which was a really horrible idea because he did not take good care of this textbook. It cost me a lot of money. And he just basically, um, he barely read it. He read all the highlighted parts because I read it and highlighted it in all the important parts of it. And... Uh, yeah, like this is not my paper, that's his paper. Uh, and then it was in the back of his sister's truck for I don't know how long, the book was just sliding back and forth being destroyed, so yeah. Okay, then I have this book by Arian on Alexander the Great. This is actually my friend's book. I think this book is also on Alexander the Great is also my friend's book. Then I have Dr. Olivius's book that he sent to me and he um, signed it for me. So I thought that was very, very sweet. Uh, so I have his book here and then I also have Ancient Greece. And that's coming with me. Okay, so for the most part, everything that is mine is packed and ready to go. I need to start taking things downstairs so I can't really film as I'm dragging everything back downstairs so yeah wish me luck on that i'm gonna be so tired this is stuff on my door my name becky's name um dr olivia's book and then this is dr mcbrien um who was my advisor for my undergrad thesis and was on my committee for my master thesis so i i put her on my door so that's coming with me too so this and the beanbag are the last things in my office that are mine and I'm taking. I just kind of spent about a, an hour and a half with a classmate of mine who's on the other side of my office and we were just catching up um, before he leaves on his trip. And yeah, I just, yeah, I'm done here. So there we go. That was it. That was my video um, of my graduate teaching assistantship office and yeah now everything is in my car in my trunk so then i gotta take it to my parents house and then i'll see what i'll do with all of those papers that i have and all those books that i printed out and articles and student assignments that some of them i think i need to keep for a year and others i, I can throw it away so there we go